Hello my friends. It is really early in the morning. Uh, we got back from dinner here in Buenos Aires really late. What I've learned about this culture here in Argentina and this, this huge city, in fact, Buenos Aires is the largest city in Argentina. I believe it. It goes on forever. But anyway, what I learned, people here, they start having dinner. Like um, in USA, you know, 5, 6 o'clock here, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> so we eat late, and I've been repacking all my my things because we're jumping on a plane tomorrow night and heading up um, around the border of Argentina, Paraguay, and Brazil to go to the um, famous falls in Iguazu, Iguazu, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but anyway, I'm learning so many things about about this um, this country here, North America. Um, one of the things that I wanted to share with you um, before I tell you about, you know, why I'm here, the farm, the good farm stuff, the agriculture stuff, is um, their money. You just got to see this. Okay, so here's their money. It's, you know, it's like American money. It just, you know, it just looks different, but... Um, what I'm learning is that black market here is alive and well. It's against the law to deal in black market bills, but people do. And I'm pretty sure, you know, I went through this money tonight just for fun. I'm pretty sure I might have um, some black market money that was just, you know, I, I came here with pesos, but I think in purchasing coffee and whatnot, I, I might have got some fake stuff. I'm going to show... Jorge, junior or senior, tomorrow. Those are our two tour guides, and see, you know, just kind of see what they think. But anyway, um, that's kind of that's kind of interesting to me. Um, also, um, one of the things that I um, wanted to share with you is, um, I believe that this country, the people in this country, are much happier than us that live in South America, the USA, because they're just, you know, I mean, they're they're just more relaxed, their, um, their economy isn't so great either, but, and it's not necessarily a social country, but they just seem to have a better grip on, on happiness. And, um, you know, when they eat meals, it's slower, there's more conversation. Um, they, I don't find them to be lazy people at all. In fact, I find them to be um, very efficient people, but... Um, that's really stood out to me, the happiness um, that I, I'm finding um, around the towns and cities that we travel to. But anyway, um, if you're following me here on my blog, you know that I'm here for work on a farm tour with National FFA, the National FFA Organization, and I'm traveling with some incredible staff from the national office um, and just some um, future leaders, these these um, young, I call them young because I feel like such an old person around them, um, these young people I'm traveling with, but uh, we're having a good time. We were seeing um, many great things. Um, today we were at Bangui, one of the world's largest export exporters of soybean or the crushing facility there was just amazing and what I want to touch on quickly <laughs> is um, today when we were going on a tour they talked about what they crush and I'll just focus on the soybean they crush soybeans and they make several different products and one of them is glycerin and anything that is gel has glycerin in it. And so you think, well, what's the big deal, Jody? Well, to somebody like me with, um, with breast cancer, um, uh, that means estrogen because when the glycerin hits my body, my body thinks it's estrogen and my cancer grows by estrogen. But anyway, I just, I thought that was interesting. You know, I'm, I was there, I didn't say anything. I, don't, I want to be most polite. Um, but it, it perked my ears up, and so I've got some obvious, obviously more research to do on that. Um, it's, uh, so the estrogen, um, how do they do it? They crush the soybean. It's a byproduct. Um, they were also pro processing biofuel today. Um, but that facility was just um, amazing, clean, efficient, huge. Um, and thousands of trucks going in and out of the facility, hundreds of thousands of tons 
going through that facility and then being exported mainly, um, I am told, to Europe. So anyway, that's a little update for all of you. Let me bring you back out to the street. It's quiet, uh, wee hours of the morning. I'm going to get very little sleep, but, you know, I can sleep when I get back to uh, the USA, that's for sure. And the language, while I don't speak Spanish, I can listen and I can get about half of what they're saying and I'm able to order and I'm able to say hello, good morning. And uh, one of my favorite words, in fact, I'd love to just kind of keep saying it, is ciao.